Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing new drugstore products for you guys. New drugstore makeup that I found. I went on to Ulta's website and I just ordered a bunch of new items and I'm gonna do a whole look with them and just kind of have fun and let you know my thoughts on them. I don't have a lot of drugstore makeup. This is a new venture for me. I do have a few things, but I don't I don't feel like I particularly sway towards the drugstore end, if you will, just because I feel like it's really risky. But I was excited to pick up a bunch of stuff. I spent a lot of money on these things, so hopefully I like most of them, fingers crossed. But before we get into the video, I want to say hello and welcome to anyone that is new. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe. I do new beauty videos every single week, so if you're subscribed and you have that bell notification on, you won't miss out on any of those videos. And without further ado, we'll get right into the video. So we're gonna get into all of the products. I'll basically show you them as I'm gonna use them. And I will have all of the items listed in the description. I will tell you, I had a lot of issues with Ulta okay so it took Ulta three weeks to get me this package okay uh, it doesn't ever take that long for Ulta to get me anything but it took them three weeks to get me th this package and then on top of that I was missing a blush missing a lipstick and the concealer is broken and I'm pretty certain they sent me the wrong foundation so basically I had to go through I picked out my own drugstore blush and my own drugstore lipstick that I already have just so I can kind of do like a full face of drugstore and it'd be like actual full face of drugstore but I'm just like really upset with Ulta right now because why did they do this to me? I don't know. So the first thing I'm going to go into is going to be the Maybelline Express Brow. This is a brow duo. It's a two-in-one pencil. It's a pencil plus powder. So, and this is in the shade Black Brown. This is what it looks like. This is the powder. This is the pencil. So this is what the tip looks like. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I don't think I'm doing it right. It doesn't really look like it's doing much. All right, so I'm going into the other end, which is a pencil. It kind of reminds me of the brow definer, but honestly, I don't know how I feel about this pencil at all because every time I just tried to use it, it like melts right into my brow. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm going into something else. <laughs> that eyebrow pencil is garbage. Complete garbage. So I have to find the lid. I dropped it, but so I have no idea how to get this to work. And this was so waxy and weird. It just kept bawling. So I wasn't able to get like the sharp lines that I like. And I'm just not, I'm not a fan of that. First, first things first, not a fan. So I got two palettes. I got the Bratz palette, which I'm not going to use today. If you guys want to see a look from that, just let me know down below always. I am going to use this one. This is the Revolution Forever Limitless Neon Heat Palette. It has 24, 27 shades in it. So humongous. It has some pig pressed pigment, it has some eyeshadow, but I just thought this was really pretty and I wanted to complete a look with this. So this is the inside of the palette, which I just think is so, 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 so pretty. Ooh, it's so pretty. So I'm going to go in with this neon color. It literally is called neon and it's this neon green color. And I think I'm just going to place that on my inner corner above my crease. We're definitely going to do something colorful. I just don't know what yet. Like I just feel like if I do a random like just pink purple look, it's going to be a waste of this palette. So we're going to go, we're going to go a little crazy. All right. So I have that green placed. I think I'm gonna go into like these. This is gonna be my journey over here. I'm gonna go into C next, which is gonna be this one. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but placing it from the middle over. I just feel like these colors are placed together for a reason. So this color is really, really pigmented for real. Like this palette is bomb. So I'm just placing color right now. I'll blend it out in a minute. I'm trying to think, I think I want to do the purple but i have a feeling that purple is a shimmer i'm gonna go in with electric which is which is this purple because this purpley pink was a shimmer and i don't want to do that with a shimmer there's a little kickback in the pan just a little and i'm gonna bring it out here i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but i just want to bring it out so i have that now i want to go in with the smallest latest blending brush and just kind of blend each one out now this will probably take some time but it has to be done 
You can also mix the two colors in a pan. I like to do that a lot and just go right over where that line is. So they see, they just fade. Oh, it made like this really, really gorgeous blue at the end. Right here, really nice. Just adding a little more purple to kind of bring that together. I want, I'm gonna swatch a couple of them. So I have this one, this one, oh my God, that was beautiful. That one and then that one. So those are the middle one. I don't even have to swatch nothing else the middle one <laughs> the middle so i'm going to clean up this to make it look a little sharper and kind of into a wing with some makeup remover and a q-tip and then we'll be right back i'm gonna go into waves which was that beautiful beautiful like duo chromey shimmer color and i'm gonna lay that all over the lid where i just cut it and cleaned it and put on eyeshadow primer again oh so it's like, it's pretty, but it's coming off like super patchy, chunky. So the more I put on, the better kind of situation. It does have a lot of fallout from the glitter. It's so pretty. I don't know if it's coming off on camera or not, but it's like a greeny, bluey, silver, white situation. I'm going to go in with this one right here, which is tan. And just kind of blend it out there. I have glitter all over me, just so you guys know. It is all over me. There's a lot of fallout in that glitter. All right, so at that point, I am done with that portion of the eye. We're going to go into the bottom portion, obviously, after. I'm going in with the new mascara, just to basically remove some of that glitter off of my lashes. I'm not going to do the bottom lash, but this is a new mascara. This is the S since Lash Princess Curl and Volume. I have the green and blue one and I love them both. The green one is my favorite though. We're gonna move to the face real quick. This is the Essence Skin Loving Sensitive Primer. Yeah, it's just like a moisturizing primer and I'm just gonna put that on my face. This wing looks ridiculous. That's why I'm trying to hide my face from you. Oh, it looks so bad. Look at this one versus this one. I don't know what happened. Oh, this is actually really nice. I wonder if there's any silicone in this because it kind of gives me like a sticky feeling where it's really, really hydrating. It's really nice. I like it a lot. All right, so the next thing I'm going to go into is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's supposed to be long wearing. This is the shade Warm Beige. <laughs> When I tell you, it literally looked so much more tan on the website. Oh, that's Renny. On Ulta's website than it does sitting here in my room. And also that's Renny. Yeah, that's not going to be my shade. We'll have to bronze it up. Maybe it'll be my winter shade because I get much lighter in the winter. I don't like how runny it is. I'm telling you, I'll put a screenshot here of what the shade looks like on Ulta's website because it looked like it was going to be a little bit too dark for me. And now I'm like, God. I look so pale. Goodbye, color. We don't know you anymore. However, from first, first impression, first situation, other than the coloring being completely off, it seems to kind of be a little crusty musty. We'll give it a, we'll give it a little bit, but like, look at that. Oh. Do not let this stuff sit on your face. Like, did you see that was so dry? It dried so fast. Like, this is like super dry. It's not like tacky like some foundations get or most foundations get. It's like super dry. So first and foremost, this is not a warm beige. This is like very fair. Like, look at, look at this. This is insane. We're gonna have to bronze her up. We're gonna have to bronze her. Hopefully she'll oxidize because a lot of drugstore foundations oxidize. That's what I'm hoping for girls because this is not it. But it's very dry. So like I'm starting to see a lot of like crusty musty going on here, here, all up in here. So I'm not a fan of that at all. Oh. So the next thing I'm going to go into is going to be the 18 hour hydrating true skin high cover concealer. It's by Catrice. It goes in with this line and I got the shade cool cashmere. Also, I wanted to show you this is this is the wand, by the way. It's broken. It does not come like this. I've checked. Mine just came broken. I look like I'm going to a circus. I look like I'm a clown. Actually, I don't mind 
the concealer so much and it's actually not as drying as the foundation was. So that one's a good one if it wasn't broken. So I'm gonna go into the new Catrice True Skin Mineral Loose Powder and it is also hyaluronic acid and it's in translucent. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks almost like peachy. <coughs> it stinks. <coughs> Ew, I do not like the smell of that powder at all, but it is smooth. Look at my... <laughs> I will say that I'm gonna try to use a different brush because that one is just not doing it for me at all. Like I got it all over me. I'm gonna go in with a more pointed brush. I will say it definitely did its job. I, it's smooth right under my eye, I blurred it. I like how this feels. I like how this feels a lot. It doesn't feel bad, like it feels really, really freaking nice. So this is the Tulum Six Color Bronzer and Highlighter Palette by BH Cosmetics. I thought this was so cute. Follow that dream, tanned in Tulum. Ooh, those look a little more red than I was hoping. I think I'm gonna go in with Runeus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And we're gonna like try to bronze this whole face up. I actually like this bronzer. Um, It's not as pigmented as like my Fenty bronzer or like more of my more expensive bronzers, but it it's not bad. It's doing its job and I think it was only like six dollars so it's not terrible. I would definitely say if you want a new bronzer that's inexpensive go for it. It's not bad. Okay, so I feel like I was able to kind of like bronze up my face just a little bit. So now I'm going to go into a Milani blush because unfortunately the blush I had chosen was not delivered by Ulta. And this is a nice baked shimmer blush. So the next thing is going to be a highlighter and I'm going in with the Revolution Golden Hour. It's the Revolution Glow and Rachel Leary highlighter golden hour. I don't really know what this is called there's a whole bunch of nonsense on the front so but this is the highlighter i'm going in with and this is what it looks like oh she's gonna be pretty i feel like my blush had more highlighter in it than my highlighter does it's very glittery i feel like it's very glittery hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I like the bronzer. I don't care for the highlighter. Okay, so we're going to go back into our eyeshadow palette to get that lower lid finish. I think I'm going to go in here with this pink one, which is Cocktail from Matt Pinkman. And I think I'm going to lay that down just to give it its final pop of color. All we're really missing is yellow. They didn't have any yellow in here, so. I think I'm going to go back over that with this purple electric that I did for the top and try to turn that purple instead. I just feel like the pink was not where I wanted it to be. So I decided to go in and bring this wing out and I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it at all. We're already here. We got to finish strong. I love the palette. hate the look. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm hoping my eyelashes will cover all of this. Oh my God. All right, so the lashes that I got were by Kiss, and these are Sister Nature. They're fluffy and wispy finish, 100% natural hairs. They're in the style Willow. Patent pending paper tray. Oh, okay, so the tray is paper and not. Uh, so this is all cardboard, so it's recyclable. These are humongous. Okay. <laughs> This look just keeps getting better and better. Whoa, they're huge. Oh my God. I hate this so much. First of all, who's going around with lashes this long? So they're very thin and they were pretty easy to apply, but like they're really long. I can feel them like all the way up here. So I'm going in with my lip, which is the NYX Lingerie XXL in bright red because I don't know what else to do at this point to make this look look any worse. And last but not least, I'm going in with the Catrice Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. All in all, I absolutely hate this look. Uh, I don't really think it's any of the makeup fault. I just don't i am not you know those instagram makeup looks with clouds and rainbows and all of that like really cool creative situation that's not me it's 
not I'm not good at that I'm gonna like really glam really like basic traditional looks and I just feel like I stepped out of my comfort zone and I failed so we're never gonna do something like this again I don't mind the palette at all I think that the colors were very blendable very easy to use and very pigmented for being as inexpensive as it was I think it was like 25 bucks Whoop, we're losing a lash these lashes are atrocious they will be thrown away as soon as I take them off um, I did the only things I would say that I did not like were the lashes and the foundation and the highlighter. So foundation, highlighter, lashes were not my thing. I didn't care for them. I really, really like this. It did give my skin like a nice glowy, dewy look, but it is a little bit wet. So be careful. One or two squirts will do fine. Do I like these products for the most part? Yes. I think that they worked really well. I loved the bronzer. I loved the eyeshadow. Do I think I had a tough time? Sure. But I think that's me I don't think it's on all the product but I hope you guys like this video I hope you had a lot of fun watching me create this disgusting look that I now have on my face so if you like this look you're one of the few give me a thumbs up comment down below and what you, tell me what you think I think that I'm gonna try to do the palette again but maybe just stay in my comfort zone of like pretty little things and not try to like and and it just was too much it was it was too much it was too much but thank you for stopping by thank you for watching me become an absolute garbage mess and i hope i will see you guys on the next one bye